on. Okay, I've changed the configuration setting now for um, uh, potentiometer mode so it works forward back and also the foot switch. So um, nothing will happen until I press the foot switch, which is actually this button here. And the potentiometer is now in the midpoint at 2.5 volts roughly. So if I press the switch, right, and then go one way with the potentiometer, it will go forward. And then t'other way, and it will go backwards. And there's a dead zone in the middle, which can be adjusted in software. You see? So there's a biggish dead zone here. If I take my finger off this, then nothing should happen. There we go, that's correct. So we've got the basis of a forward reverse system here. What I've done now is um, connect my Arduino board with, uh, I don't know if you see that, there's an IMU on it, accelerometer and gyro. There's the gadget here, digital to analog converter, that tiny black dot. Uh, that converts the pulse width modulation pulses coming out to a steady voltage between 0 and 5 volts which now goes through here into the setup instead of the reading from the analog reading from the potentiometer and uh, this is set in um, joystick mode which means uh, 2.5 volts is the mid position that way would be reversed, this way would be forwards. So 2.5 volts to 5 volts would make the wheel go forwards. 2.5 volts to 0 volts would make the wheel go backwards. I mean, we're simulating that with this um, Arduino. Um, I've got 36 volts of lead acid batteries um, and a dead man switch and a humongous wheel with a hub motor. So I'm holding the IMU tilted at the moment. I've got some LEDs. When the red LED goes out, I slowly bring it level and then it should become active. There we go, right. We slowly bring the IMU level and the wheel should turn when it first becomes level. There we go, right. Tip it one way, and there it goes. Tip it the other way. Okay, again. Turn on the main power and it should randomly start moving. Here we go. Yeah, oh, it moved. Did it? Yeah. Oh, it's making tiny little clicky noises. Yes, it's moving. But it's moving backwards and forwards it's very. Oh, yes, it is. Well, 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 well. So, presumably, it doesn't need to move. Right, so we've got the program running. Um, See, can you get that? It's doing, basically, it's doing an auto diagnostics, I assume. Okay, this is an important point. Um, I don't know if you can see here where it says um, RLS TPS brake. Um, that is um, how fast it kind of, how much braking effect it puts in as you reduce the throttle ready to change direction. So currently it's zero. And if you watch what happens, so we go one way and then we'll stop and change direction. So it clunks a bit and then goes the other way. Free wheels a bit, goes the other way. All right. Now watch if I put some braking effect in. So I'm going to change this to 20%. If you can see that. So that puts some braking in, and then we're going to um, write that in here somewhere. 
Okay, we get the OK. So we'll go back to um, motor. Right, now watch how it behaves. Let's try and get that in view. There we are. Right, watch this now. It's smoother as you change direction. So we go one way. Now watch happens as I change direction. See how it's much smoother? 